So our pitchers are going to demonstrate using the balance beam. The balance beam, in my opinion, should be a tool that every pitching coach in the country should have. Every pitcher in the country, whether you're 10 or at the highest level of any collegiate level, should be utilizing um, and that you, you're giving your pitchers uh, that one focus every day that they're working on. So the balance beam for most of us is going to be helping us to feel whether or not we're stabilizing in the middle of their body and that everything that they're producing forward, that they can have enough balance and enough stabilization on that front leg to maintain that force forward and really transition to velocity out of the hand at the end of the pitch. The goal here on the balance beam, uh, very simple. The key is in the term balance beam. They're trying to maintain balance uh, on that front leg all the way through the pitch, back leg under the body. We saw that when we were talking on our PowerPoint. We want that back leg traveling with our arm to our front side on time to the front leg. The balance beam is key because if at any point in time they're losing that control um, if their back leg is late, if they're not traveling the back side at the same time to their front side, they're going to feel that immediately and then be able to self-correct. Essentially what you're going to see is that the balance beam does all of the work for them. It's really, uh, it, it's something they don't have to think about. They're just going to step on it and throw. Uh, and what they feel, the, the error in the pitch, um, that, that's where they're going to get back on the beam and it will, it will correct itself simply because their body and their mind knows I need to stay on the beam. That's the goal. So what you'll see here, but the difference between Naomi to my right and Paige to my left, two different body types, two different builds. They're going to create power in different ways. Uh, Naomi, very consistent, very efficient off the mound, great timing. With Paige to my left, more powerful, more force. More force forward is harder to control. That's why the balance beam for someone like Paige is so valuable because being able to have power and strength all the, off the mound doesn't always translate. And so we have to teach our body how to control that, how to make the most of it all the way to the front leg. And so this is a great tool for somebody like Paige because she really can't muscle things. She's really going to have to take her time, understand what her body is doing, and how to be on time to her front leg to make sure all of that strength is getting to the right place. And if it does that, she's going to reach max velocity. And if she can do it repeatedly, she's going to have a really high work capacity.